Hello everybody, how are you all doing? So today I'm going to teach you guys three ways, more like two and a half, but it's three ways on how to fix fail to bind to port. This is actually pretty simple and it's going to help you. It helped me, I fixed my fail to bind to port and so yeah. So first off we're going to show you the way everybody talks about doing it, checking your activity monitor. Now the activity monitor can be found in the other section if you've updated to Mountain Lion in the launch pad and it looks like this. So when you open up activity monitor what you're going to do is you're actually going to put into the filter query Java and something should come up and you would essentially click that and you would click quit process and that should fix it. So that's one way of doing it. The other way of doing it is essentially going into your bucket folder clicking on server.properties and if you have an IP in there, delete it. Then save it, then start up your server again. But if that messes up your entire, you know, server and you've port forwarded too, so that's messing up your port forward because it doesn't know what to forward, um, go into your system preferences and check your IP and check and see if it's changed. Mine actually changed for some reason and I don't think I have a dynamic IP and I'm connected to my original uh, Wi-Fi so it shouldn't have changed but then just enter the IP in there the new one save it get out and it should be running the same as usual like so and if you see mine is working perfect so it says running and I can work uh, I might do another sync preview of my server because I made some revisions to the world itself and things like that I fixed some things that had to be fixed but in general, but in general I hope you guys this video and I hope you guys, guys, you guys want to give it a like like why don't you, why don't you like this video because, because of course I would like to know if this actually helped you or not comment if this worked or if it didn't I might look for new ways to fix this and I'll see you guys later yeah <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed if you want to know your IP or if you want to port forward there are two ways to do it one you can go to your you know website if you have like a Belkin or something there are ways to get to your website just put like your IP into the URL and it'll take you there the default for a Belkin is um is uh, 192.168.2.1 that's what it is so why don't you use that and that should take you to your website for that and then another way is to use port map I'm not gonna pull port map up because that would be too much censoring out and I don't want to do that so I'll see you guys later I hope you enjoyed this video share this with your friend favorite this watch this a lot more because it might help you in the future I'll see you guys later bye